Well, baby, I'm on it with a bottle of wine and an old Joe Cody ready to go if you want to. Okay. Hey, thanks everybody for joining us today. Live Music Nation Podcast Festival Edition. Today we are with Hannah Toth. Am I saying that right? Toth. That's okay. Toth. <laughs> Fountain Festival. Hannah, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited to share about the event and everything. <laughs> Give us a little background on you, where you grew up, and talk a little bit about your uh, your family and your career. Sure. So I grew up right here in Fountain Hills, Arizona. I actually grew up attending the event that I now manage, uh, which is pretty cool. <laughs> um, and my, I'm an only child. I went to Arizona State University. It, I majored in sports business, business law, and data analytics. So um, that raises the question of how I ended up an event planner. Um, I actually originally wanted to be an NFL agent, like so bad. You know, I saw the Tom Cruise movie and I was sold. <laughs> um, well, in the sports world, a great way to make all those connections would be through events. You meet the coaches, the players, the moms. And so I was in sports events for a bit. Well, eventually, just throughout my college career, I realized I could, um, be getting coffee and writing contracts for the rest of my life, or I could keep um, putting smiles on faces and stay in events and maybe make a little less money, but that's okay. Um, so I ended up sticking with events. Then COVID hits, no sports, no events. Right. Um, little pivot for a bit there. And then I found my way back into event management in a really cool way, um, moving back to my hometown, getting involved, I ran for office and I'm on the town council in town now and just kind of through the connections I made, um, trying to get your name out there, I ended up working at the Chamber of Commerce managing an event I've been going to since before I could walk. So um, I feel really blessed in that regard. All right, let's jump into the festival. Let's uh, three three questions. But before we do that, number one, where's it at and when is it? Let's get that. Let's get that going. Yeah, so it's in Fountain Hills, Arizona, right in downtown Fountain Hills, um, right in front of the fountain, and it'll, it'll be November 10th through the 12th. We welcome about 500 artists of every category you can think of, um, and then we also have live music in our beer gardens, which are hosted by the local VFW chapter. It's It really is a community event. All the nonprofits in town have a hand in the festival in some way, and uh, the whole town kind of gets involved there. Okay, so three questions that people always want to know. They've never been there before. What does it look like? What does it smell like, meaning food? And what does it sound like, meaning amusements, entertainment, activities? Guys, I think we lost Hannah. We'll wait for her to come back in. Okay, are you back? I am back. Good, good. So three questions. What does it look like? What does it smell like? And what does it sound like? Oh, I love that. Okay, so the Fountain Festival, our big shtick is that it's in the shadow of our famous namesake fountain, which is the fourth tallest in the world. Used to be the tallest, but you know. Um, and so it looks like this desert oasis with artwork of every different category you can think of. We've got sculptures, we've got um, candles, we've got clothing, everything. Um, what it smells like, um, it depends where you're standing. If you're standing near the food, it probably smells like popcorn. Okay. Um, <laughs> otherwise, you get um, the smell of uh, the candles that the artists create, you get the smells of the licorice, the one guy makes the licorice is really good, by the way. <laughs> um, and then what does it sound like? That also depends on where you're standing. So in one beer garden, we've got um, Tommy Fontaine playing kind of classic rock. In another beer garden, you're going to hear country music. And then as you walk through the event, 
you have some of the artists that are playing Native American music. Um, the the event itself goes stretches along one whole street, a portion of Saguaro, and then a little portion of Parkview. So it goes in a big giant J. Um, so depending on where you're standing, you're going to be hearing different music, smelling different smells, um, seeing different types of art. So it's it's a fun question, but it's a hard question to to make short. <laughs> I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. Hannah, Hannah, what is it for you? What what drives you? What makes this event so so big and good for you? Well, my big thing when it comes to planning events and the reason I stuck with it was putting smiles on faces. Um the art festival is a really good example of that because you see, as I said before, artwork of every different category, every different price range. You see families, retired people, actual art collectors. Everybody's finding something that speaks to them and stands out. It's such a beautiful event to be a part of. We welcome 200,000 guests throughout the weekend, and I think every single guest leaves having seen something they haven't seen before. And being a part of that is just so special. I was never um, an artistic person. I've never considered myself that creative. So it's really cool to give people that I've always admired for having that gene, giving them that opportunity to showcase what they do best. Yeah, no, that's perfect. Okay, two fun questions. I always like to answer these because, you know, we got – so many different people that we do these interviews across the nation like to survey and get a sample. I tour, we perform everywhere. Best concert you've ever seen in your entire life, Hannah. What would you say? Oh, that is, um, it's going to sound cliche, but I have to say, yeah. Okay. All right. Second, second question here. Dead or alive? But you're breaking up again on this, Hannah. Oh, no. Okay. I think I'm yeah. back. You're back. You're back. Okay. okay. De dead or alive? You could see one musical act. Who would you see? Ooh. Um, I would love to see George Jones. Oh, I would love there to see him in concert. Yeah. yeah. I'm a That's I'm cool. a big fan of old country. I think that would be that would be a really cool person to see in concert. But Okay. All right. All right. Very good. How do people find out more about your event? Uh you can go to fhchamber.com or fountainhillsartfairs.com. They both lead you to the same place. Um, and that's where we also have our applications for the fall show. If you're an artist and um, all of our information regarding if you're a food truck or anything like that, that would want to be part of the show or just want to hear some of our history. Um, it's a 49 year running show. So um, we've grown quite, quite a bit since then. And there's a lot to read up on on there. Awesome. Perfect. Thanks so much for being on with us today, Hannah. I appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you, Jake. You bet. Bye. Okay. Bye. Well, baby, I'm on with a bottle of wine and an old dirt road. Are you ready to go if you want one?